I'm Thomas Stalker. I'm working at the University of Bern, and I'm a co-chair of Working Group 1, the Physical Science Spaces. In that function, I lead a working group consisting of scientists who work as authors, uh, compiling the chapters for our report, and I guide that process in collaboration with my co-chair and colleague uh, Ching Dohe from China. There are many achievements of IPCC. First of all, the greatest achievement, I believe, is the installation and the implementation of the IPCC process, which as such has been rewarded with the Nobel Peace Prize in 2007. The fact that hundreds and thousands of scientists work voluntarily to provide the best knowledge for policymakers on climate change. A big achievement, obviously, is also the fact that very complex climate science can be cast into simple statements which are clear and which are understandable to the wider public. For example, warming in the climate is unequivocal. This is a statement out of the fourth assessment report, which was published in 2007, and it remains a state of fact that the climate system is warming and that knowledge was assembled in this unique IPCC process. Looking into the future of IPCC, we recognize that climate science has become a very mature broad science involving many thousands of scientists producing exciting and complex results as we speak. In order for an author team to be able to comprehensively assess all the scientific findings uh, relevant to climate change, this has become a very large task. In the future of IPCC, we have to think hard how to assist these scientists when they are carrying out their assessment of climate change results. We also have to be aware of the fact that many of the policy decisions are uh, taken on a regional level, a level of nations, where information needs to be detailed and sophisticated. This is a task for the science to scale down and refine their results with ever increasing resolution in climate models, for example, while maintaining the high level of observational uh, systems. Only combining information from observations, better understanding of theory, and more powerful climate models will be able We'll, we will be able in the future to provide the up-to-date knowledge to the policymakers. IPCC will have to develop along these lines to recognize this increasing amount of knowledge from the scientific community. It's important that the assessment reports go in step with the progress that we make in the scientific community. One of the large progresses, for example, is the fact that we now have a global view of the changes that the increase in greenhouse gases impacts on the climate system and its different components. For example, we have a much better knowledge on how much ice is melting in Greenland and in Antarctica. And this knowledge, including the uncertainties, will be brought to the public in the fifth assessment report. Likewise, much better computer models are available to inform policymakers about the choices they have and the consequences of, for example, emission pathways in the future and what that means for temperature, 
what it means for precipitation, and what it means, for example, for sea level rise. There are many uh, components that are extremely rewarding when you dedicate your time on a voluntary basis, uh, for example, as an author or a coordinating lead author to IPCC. It's certainly the contact to fellow scientists who are all engaged in one project, and that is to assess the scientific knowledge on climate change. So you are working collaboratively towards one product over a time of about four years. The second rewarding experience is the fact that as a scientist, you're able to bring your results, often these are complex results, to the wider public through this assessment and to expose these results to many other results in the scientific community to come up with a consensus, first of all among the author team, but then a consensus that is exposed to the wider public through the two stages of reviews that these chapters go through. All that is an extremely rewarding and exceptional task for scientists. After all, it is a service that we provide to the policymakers so that they are able to take decisions with information on the table that comes from the latest science.